Hi Sagittarius, welcome back. So Sagittarius, this is going to be your spiritual tarot reading and we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. So when I was meditating on the overall Sagittarian energy, I clearly heard lyrics from an Annie Lennox song. It's an older song titled Why. Um, some of you that artists, that song in specific could be validation for you, but not for all of you. For others of you, it's just about the lyrics that I was getting. And here's the lyrics that were kept uh, coming in specifically from the song. Uh, there's one part of the song where she says, I should have just kept my big mouth shut. Um, and then there's another part where she talks about casting away fear and doubt. Um, and then clearly I heard, and you don't know how I feel. I don't think you know how I feel. So it's almost like Sagittarius feeling misunderstood uh, in the energy by another person, whatever, or feeling like someone does not know how it feels to be you or has not walked in your shoes or they just don't get it, you know, because now I'm getting another song. You just don't get it. Keep it copacetic. You learn to accept it. And you know you're so pathetic, but you don't. Mm. Maybe check out that song as well. Um, it's like somebody just not getting it, you know, not getting how the, they make you feel with their words or their actions or just feeling in general. It doesn't even have to be about a specific person that, you know, that just feeling that misunderstanding. Some of you might have, uh, or there's a caution around saying something that you don't really mean because I kept hearing with my big mouth, I should have kept my big mouth shut. So that's a caution. Some of you might have already done that. If the cat's out of the bag, it's out of the bag. No point in guilting yourself if you've already opened your mouth about something. But I sense a little bit of a, a desire to, to like, it's like when you say something and you want to take it back or you, you wish you wouldn't have given that person the ability to push you or trigger you or whatever. It's like wanting to take something back. And if it's not you, then it could be someone you're connecting with. But I just keep, they just keep whispering in my ear that one lyric. And you don't know how I feel. And you don't know how I feel. You always think you know how I feel, but you don't know how I feel. Um, wow, deep song, Sagittarius. What a way to start the reading. So let's get into the tarot and see where this is headed, right? get a little bit more specific for you. Sorry, I'm getting another part. Falling from your mouth. Falling from your mouth. Tell me why. And the words just keep falling from your mouth. There's like some words that have hurt you. This might not even be relevant to the present moment. I mean, this could be eons ago, but you haven't left it alone. Or every time you think of it, it hurts you again, or it has the ability to do that. Some of you, this could be fresh, you know? I got lots of different Sagittarians in here. But it's like, words do hurt, you know what I'm saying? And um, sometimes we can't always take take them back, right? Uh, we can forgive it, we can soothe it, but rarely do you forget it, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you're a Sagittarius. Don't mind my dogs dog life okay <laughs> especially my Sagittarius's because I feel like Sagittarius you are the queens and kings of forgiving but not forgetting you know of and it's almost uh, in a way it's a strong suit of yours so that you don't repeat mistakes but in a way it kind of harms you when you do that you know so Let's get into it and see. You have the North Node of Destiny here. Aquarian energy for some of you. Could have that in your chart. Be dealing with one. Or it's just the vibes around the situation. 
which is talking about soothing that energy, right? It's about your fulfillment, your process, and becoming more emotionally mature, all right? It is a learning curve, but this is for your development, and it's saying to keep your integrity, all right? Things are blossoming around you, and um, to me, this is always like a healing energy or a time to heal yourself or heal a situation. Some of you maybe want to heal this wounding coming up from words that have hurt you, because they keep giving me that specific phrase, words that have hurt you. Um, so you have the Four of Swords as well, which, oh my gosh, <laughs> I swear. It says at the bottom, you probably can't see it. It says at the bottom, healing. And that's what I just was talking about. But that's what it represents, healing, uh, having peace of mind, quieting your mind, clearing your energy, letting things go by not reliving it in your mind. You know, if you know something hurts you, don't talk about it. Don't dwell on it if you don't have to. You know, I'm not saying suppress. I'm not saying bottle things up. But I'm saying you don't have to repetitively go back to that, okay? And sometimes we do that. We get wounded and then we repetitively go back to it. Because it's like our ego is trying to figure that out. What went wrong there? And um, sometimes we get obsessed with the things that have gone wrong that we cannot see the rightness of our life. And you're really being guided away from that into this more healing uh, energy, into this more spiritual type of vibe. And to see what's blossoming for you that's coming in. Also, I heard if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. That's... That's the mantra I want you to use over the next uh, few weeks or so, as I feel like there might be some triggering going on in the environment. Okay, some of you, though, if <laughs> might be saying that to someone else. Um, you know, if they are going there, you might say it. You don't have anything nice to say. Don't say anything at all. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait, I don't want those cards yet. Sorry, I'm getting lost in my thoughts. <laughs> okay, so let's go into the headspace, Sagittarius. We're going to look at the thought space, what's going on there for you. Then we're going to look at the emotional space, what's going on there. And then we're going to look at the bigger spiritual picture, right? I just heard another lyric, casting... Something about casting aside doubts. Okay. Needing to cast aside doubts. So, anyways, five of wands, strength. Ooh. And right on the tail of that, the knight of swords and the two of swords. So this is kind of you getting in your own way with the thought process here. And seeing trouble where there's not trouble. And um, for some of you, letting your fears or insecurities run the show. And Sagittarius, this is saying you're stronger than that. You know better than that. I feel like you know better. And, you know, sometimes when we know better, but then we catch ourselves going into like a lower energy, we tend to um, reprimand ourselves. Which isn't the healthiest way to go about it. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever done or said something and, that, and then later on you're like, why did I do that? I'm so stupid. Why did I say that? I should not have said that like that. You know? And then you start scolding yourself. Um, Spirit is saying that's not necessary because your higher self, source, God is not scolding you, is loving you, loving you, loving you, loving you right now, right now, right now. The only person scolding you is you and that's a pattern of behavior that's developed through the observance of others who scold and have scolded us. But it's saying that there's nothing beneficial that ever comes out of doing that other than you feel worse about yourself. And so instead, Sagittarius, change that thinking into upliftment. This is all right. I grew from that. I'll choose differently next time. Now I know better. You know what I'm saying? Like just soften the energy or the words around that thinking. That's kind of what I'm feeling here because I feel like there's a struggle, you know, that you're trying to maintain control over 
some of you trying to bite your tongue or keep yourself from communicating, but then like getting all in your head about it or getting all in your head about something that was previously communicated for some of you who lost your temper. So some of you, like I said, have already acted on this. Some of you haven't and you, you're in the driver's seat to change directions or to come back to this reading and remind yourself that sometimes silence is golden, you know, but either way, I just feel like in, in the, in the mind right now, there is a lot of internal dialogue going on that doesn't suit your higher self, you know, and that may have you feeling like you want to escape your own brain or your own reality, you know, like I feel like almost getting frustrated with your own thinking patterns because you know better because you know better and it's like okay well hey you know we all fall into negative traps here and there you know you're gonna uh, beat yourself up over it or are you gonna be loving to yourself and let it go you know um it's not right here frozen let it go don't make me sing that song let it go but let's go into the emotional space and see what's going on there sagittarius See if we can get some further clarification here. So they're wanting me to talk about the why. Um, some of you, there, there's been such a focus on the why that it's deterred you from just accepting something and almost saying like, why not? Why does this card go? Oh gosh, so much worse. You know, sometimes we do that, just needing to understand something so bad and keep going back to it, keep going back to it because we need to understand it. And they're saying, you know, it's a never ending hole. You're never gonna get to the bottom of it. There's never gonna be enough understanding around it. And it's no longer helpful to you to continue to go back to that place or the words that have hurt you and instead just accept this as a renewal and a new day to create something new and you're going to do that by allowing yourself to not need to know why and to let it go so Four of Wands, Judgment, the Seven of Swords, Page of Swords. Emotionally speaking, first of all, you have a, a significant relationship here. It doesn't have to be intimate, but it can be, it can also be a friend or a family worker, a family worker, <laughs> a family member or a coworker. But there's somebody here that you have a heart to heart connection with, um, Sagittarius that I feel could provide some support for you and can help remind you of the light that lives within you, or you might be doing that for them. But there's a sense of fulfillment here coming in in the heart space either way. And it's after a period of releasing the things that you don't know. And what are you releasing? You're releasing the need to know the desire to get to the bottom of something that is a bottomless pit. You know what I'm saying? And instead to fill your heart, fill your mind with new ways of living, new things you can do in the future and welcoming new healing energy into your life. Um, I feel like emotionally it's like understanding that when we start dwelling too much into the more negative emotions or past emotions that we dig up things that have already served their purpose it's like digging up a, a dead body and expecting to find something new and then burying it and then digging it up it's like leave the skeletons in the closet you know what i'm saying i'm sorry that's such a dark image <laughs> that's what i got they're saying like leave it Bury it and leave it. Bury it and leave it, you know. I don't mean that literally, figuratively, obviously. Because there's something new to be learned. Okay? There's something new that you gain from this experience. Um, and you're also learning how to let go. So sometimes the universe wants to bring us situations or people that challenge our 
ability to um, let go and there could have been a connection or an experience in your life where the only way to heal was to let go and it, letting go is a strength um, holding on is sometimes easier to do but it's like if you don't let go you're gonna be dragged you know what I'm saying and that's never a pleasant experience so emotionally releasing is what's being guided at this time uh, of the need to know or the need to get to the bottom of something because there is something new coming in new fresh information coming in once you're able to do that there's something going on behind the scenes some of you are always like wanting to know what's going on behind the scenes and that's what you're being advised to let go of during this time frame. The need to know that. I heard it's on, you're on a need to know basis. <laughs> Sometimes, um, Sagittarius, when I'm asking my own guides for personal advice, sometimes the only answer I get is that I don't need to know. <laughs> because there are some things that because words don't teach that you just have to experience and let it play out because it's part of your path you know what I'm saying so I, I bring that up because I kind of feel like that in this reading that's kind of what I'm feeling so let's get the bigger spiritual picture the star ace of pentacles in the reverse Ooh, the Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands in the upright. So some of you are, you're like wishing for something that, I don't want to say that because that just sounds rude. You're wishing for something like a missed opportunity that's dead and gone because it wasn't right for you. That person wasn't right for you. That job wasn't right for you. Whatever this is. That house wasn't right for you. It's going to be different for each of you. There's something that you really wanted that wasn't right for you. That was not aligned with you, with the larger path that you're on. And the moment you can allow yourself to let go of that is when what you actually want that is in alignment with you pops into your experience. And it's something that you're very passionate about or that will light a fire within you of excitement and will help you to continue to build off of all of the success that you've already had and for some of you they keep giving me TLC build a new build a new there's like a reflection period going on here Sagittarius it's like sometimes when opportunities miss us it, it's a blessing not sometimes I mean really all of the time it's like uh, thinking that you missed out on something but actually it wouldn't have turned out the right anyways and so you didn't really miss the boat but in by but by focusing on what you thought was missing you have blocked yourself somewhat energetically from what's really for you coming in and I think that's why they're saying, you know, get out of your own way with the thought process here. And there's some sort of release that has to come in or is coming in. And then I heard it's going to knock your socks off. There's something really much better for you in store here that has growth potential. Way more growth potential than whatever it was that was missed or perceived as a miss. Because I'm hearing, I missed that. How did I miss that? No, you didn't miss that. You, you didn't miss that. You know, you didn't miss anything. It's all part of the path. It's all part of the journey. Do you know what I'm saying? So I feel that message so strongly. I'm not trying to get like preachy with you, Sagittarius. But it's so strong that I feel almost a sternness coming in. <laughs> in the energy so let's see where are we at with time 
Okay, let's see what the guidance card is then for Sagittarius. Sorry, there's a song wanting to come through. Now it's gone. Something about me. If it comes back, I'll let you know. All right, so this says stand your ground. Okay, I think I got this before in one of your readings. It's let me sleep on it. Baby, baby, let me sleep on it. Let me sleep on it. Like before making decisions during this time frame, Give yourself some time, give yourself some time to think on it, sleep on it, and then start fresh the next day, all right? So anyways, this says stand your ground. Standing your ground is an empowering, confidence-building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it, and you know that by doing so, you will be the victor. Yeah. So, wow, Sagittarius, I love this reading. It's kind of like right to the point, but it's so uplifting, right? So I feel like um, you'll enjoy this one. Zodiac signs you could be dealing with or have in your birth chart that I'm seeing predominantly is Aquarian energy, Libra, and Leo. And Cancer energy. But it's a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it did resonate, please do let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram for more fun stuff. I do go live there as well. Tarot Time with Dana is the name of both pages. Linked in the, descri oops, linked in the description box below. Um, also, you can uh, check out my sister's online boutique for styles. Uh, that I wear quite often, avasofiaco.com, linked below. Uh, get them for yourself. And for those of you who want to donate, you can do so in the About section of my channel. Either way, I'm wishing you the very best, Sagittarius. Nothing but love. And until next time, my friends, namaste.